So being in Russia, one of the things that I miss the most is being able to go to a physical store or Amazon for that reason and buying the books of my favorite author as soon as they hit the stores. Because in Russia, finding a book that too in English language is pretty difficult. But despite this, I have managed to find some amazing texts over these past five years that are not just fun, but have also greatly influenced my understanding of medical sciences. So for people who are new to this channel, I'm Mohit Saravana Pirumal and I am a sixth year medical student here in the Far Eastern Federal University. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you my top three non-medical textbooks that I think every medical student should read. Let's get started. So number three on our list is going to be a book called as Under the Knife by Arnold Van Dillar. This book is a remarkable narration about the history of various surgeries that we still perform till date. It takes us through various points of history and explains the medicine that is associated with it. For example, from the assassination of the President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, till the point of simple surgeries like circumcision that is a part of the religious ceremony till date. As I had said in the previous video about medical dramas, some of of the things that happened before are barbaric when we consider it now and 20 years from now we might consider what we have today as barbaric then so this book takes into consideration all of the above and it provides you exactly with that the history of surgeries and how they have evolved over the years so my rating for this book is going to be 7 out of 10 this book was one of my recent discoveries during uh, this summer vacation so I thoroughly enjoyed it all throughout so the next one is one of my all-time favorites so this book is called this is going to hurt by Adam K uh, if you know about Adam K he's one of Britain's most famous comedians who was initially a board certified obstetrics and gynecology specialist uh, who happened to quit medicine and uh, pursued a career in stand-up comedy so in this book he narrates how uh, as a medical student he was pushed into medicine uh, without his own willingness and then he joined into residency and how his journey has come through till date so the narration is beautiful as usual so there are a lot of points in this book where you literally can't stop laughing I have literally cried my tears out laughing with this book and it also gives you a preview of what you are going to go through as a resident uh, it is an especially must read for anyone who is going to uh, join residency I would be definitely making sure that I'm going through this textbook again before I join my residency when I finish my uh, medical school so this book is going to get a rating of about 8 out of 10 from me because it is my second favorite book out there it just missed out uh, my first favorite book because my first favorite book is obviously out of the park so let's get to my first favorite book my first favorite book is called as the phantom of the brain this was actually introduced to me uh, by a friend of mine who also studies with me it is actually written by a neuroscientist called as vs ramachandran so vs ramachandran is one of the greatest minds that we have ever gotten in the branch of uh, neuroscience and the neuroscientific community most of his works are dealt with simplicity and simple experiments that we can do day to day just through observations and the things that we have lying around that that's what makes this book even more special. This book deals with the art of diagnostics and understanding of the complexities of our brain and goes through it through simple experiments. It actually makes up for an amazing read that once you start, it is like really difficult to put the book down. Even if you are not well versed in the branch of neuroscience, even if you are not someone who is into medicine, this is going to be an amazing read because it is as much simplified as it can get. So this book is actually in the top of the shelf when it comes to my ranking of non-medical textbooks uh, even among medical textbooks this is going to be among the top three uh, no doubt about it so I'm going to be giving this book a rating of about 9 out of 10 hell I might even give it a 10 out of 10 so there you go this book is going to get a rating of 10 out of 10 from me be sure that if you are a medical student who is going to uh, join medicine or if you are already studying in medicine and you have not come across this amazing book please make sure that you go through this there are also audiobook uh, versions available for this one the other two I don't think there are audiobook versions for it 
maybe this is going to hurt by Adam K has an audiobook version so please make sure that uh, you go through this even if you are a non-medical professional this is going to be highly informative for you it will give you a better understanding of your own body and how your brain works and as usual I have uh, four honorable mentions yes the list of honorable mentions is bigger than my main list so in the list of honorable mentions first is going to be two books by the same author called as Robin Cook uh, he's the OG of uh, medical fiction and the two books are called The Brain and The Outbreak. So these are two amazing books. I have read about seven of his books, but uh, these two books are the ones which still stand out to me. I cannot say anything more than uh, he's the OG of medical fiction because uh, it makes up for an intriguing read. It will keep you in the edge of your seat all throughout the time or in the edge of your couch or wherever you are going to read this book so this is also uh, amazing also it uh, doesn't have a lot of medical terminologies in it so it is it might be easier for anyone who is reading uh, fiction or anyone who is not from a medical background so the next two books are going to be about two surgeons and how their life has progressed through but both are really different from one another one takes you through uh, the life of a surgeon from the start of the residency till the point he completes his residency and this is called as complications the surgical notes on an imperfect science by atul gavande i am really sorry about butchering the name anyway the next book is called as uh, when breath becomes air by paul kalanithi uh, this is one of my all-time favorite books and whenever i want to go back to my basis and want to rethink uh, why I started medicine and why I fell in love with medicine these two books will remind me apart from uh, V.S. Ramachandran's uh, book of course so these are all the non-medical textbooks that I would recommend to you personally these are all my favorites I have gone through all of these textbooks uh, at least twice uh, for example V.S. Ramachandran's textbook I have gone through it like five, five or six times it's like house MD to me in a textbook form so that's it. That's it for this video. If you have any suggestions of other textbooks that you might recommend to me or other textbooks that you would like me to read, comment them down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video really soon. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.